Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Really and truly, we, we didn't do anything wrong. We weren't violent. Um, everybody at the protest was really nice. Everybody was really kind. Everybody was respecting each other. Um, there was no reason for what the police did uh, afterwards coming up to us and basically interrogating us, um, trying to figure out, you know, who we are, all this other stuff. Today I want to introduce you to a severely normal guy from a severely normal town in what I personally think is the most severely normal jurisdiction on the face of the entire earth. Yes, I'm talking about Alberta. Now, this man received a ticket for doing something, again, completely normal. Unfortunately, he did it in the most abnormal of times during the alleged coronavirus pandemic. Nicholas Brunner of Innisfail, Alberta, went to a protest against these bizarre lockdown restrictions on our lives and our businesses. That protest was in the neighboring, also super normal community of Red Deer, Alberta. Totally normal thing to do, right? But not just totally normal, it's your constitutional right to protest government decisions like the decision to lock everything down and then nick got a twelve hundred dollar fine for protesting take a listen so nick you were attending a protest and then you received a ticket i guess right afterwards where was the protest and what exactly were you doing were you doing anything crazy doing anything that would have constituted a ticket no no um all we did were we were at, we were attending it we stood there with a sign i had a sign um basically warning people about mRNA and all the, the other stuff that's been going on in the world, essentially. Um, but uh, w really and truly, we, weren't, we didn't do anything wrong. We weren't violent. Um, everybody at the protest was really nice. Everybody was really kind. Everybody was respecting each other. Um, there was no reason for what the police did uh, afterwards coming up to us and basically interrogating us, um, trying to figure out, you know, who we are, all this other stuff. And uh, eventually we gave them our, our identification and um, another group had, had told us not to do that afterwards. But um, uh, we, we, again, we didn't know. So we, were, we just thought we were being good citizens, you know. But um, I guess that's not the case in, in the law's eyes. So. <laughs> so where was the protest being held? Uh, Red Deer, sorry, uh, December 5th. Um, downtown, uh, just in, just beside the Soren Sensation in front of City Hall. So right in front of City Hall, technically, I suppose the town square, um, where government is in Red Deer, and yet uh, I guess in the times of the COVID, that's not allowed. You can't protest the government exactly where the government is. Now, how much was your ticket? Twelve hundred dollars. Okay. Well, Nick, we think that's crazy. We think that. Uh, during the pandemic, pandemic or not, the government cannot make rules and regulations that violate your constitutional freedoms. So we're going to help you fight that ticket. We want you to plead not guilty, and we're going to crowdfund a lawyer to help you through fightthefines.com. At no cost to you, the lawyer works for you. The lawyer doesn't work for me. Uh, do you have a message out there for the folks who are going to help pay for your legal fees? And maybe for the people out there who are... I guess, scared to stand up for their constitutional freedoms because they might face a fine. Well, the more people that stay afraid, uh, the longer this stuff is going to keep happening. So people need to really band together, create a community, get together, and um, basically just tell the government that this is not, this can't go any, on any longer. Our children are suffering. Um, old people are suffering from not being able to see their families. Um, it's, everybody's suffering from this, and, and lockdowns are not the answer. Um, especially over this, you know, everybody, everybody sees the news. Everybody knows what's going on. And if you can do at least a minimal amount of math, <laughs> you can figure it out. You know, that all this stuff is um, pretty, pretty extraordinary to say the least. So is this going to stop you from protesting? Um, it won't stop. I, I, I try not to go, to go to any more protests, but I do uh, run a lot of Facebook groups and stuff like that, um, telling people about what they should be aware of, what they should be doing, stuff like that. So um, I, I do not, uh, I, I believe that other people should be going to these protests. Um, if if I, 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 w I would like to attend them, but I just can't, uh, I got to look after my family. So I, I'm just a little worried about that. <laughs> 
if you get another ticket, don't you worry, because we're going to fight that one for you too. <laughs> I, I understand that. <laughs> and I, I really think uh, the community and everybody who is uh, standing up for their rights and my rights and everybody's rights. Well, you heard it here. Nick is pleading not guilty and we are helping Nick fight this fine. Crowdfunding for him at fightthefines.com to pay for a top criminal lawyer to take his fine to a court so that a real judge can look at it. Now, if you'd like to help us help Nick, you can donate at that very same website, fightthefines.com. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you've received a coronavirus ticket, don't pay it, fight it. Send it to us at fightthefines.com and we'll put you in touch with the top criminal lawyer to help you fight that ticket. If you'd like to contribute to our ongoing fight to defend civil liberties during the pandemic, you can donate at fightthefines.com.